Otters have reached the back stretch. And they are underway. Queen of All on the outside, flashing early speed. Center of the track, up comes Dagon Hanover. Down at the pylons, there's a blank space. And now also Red Redemption coming up. It's Red Redemption, Dagon Hanover inside blank space. They're three across at the moment. In behind them, striking Jensen fourth. Followed there, mid pack is Practical Cat. Next up, sixth, Julian Hector, followed by Moonbridge. And after early showing speed, Queen of All decides to back off the chase and takes the pocket. Quarter 26 and four of these trotters humming up front. It's blank space for the moment holding down the fort, but Dagon Hanover pressuring that one on the outside. Meanwhile, striking Jensen has the pocket. Fourth early on is Red Redemption. And a length back to Practical Cat, who comes off a win last time. Sixth is Julian Hector, followed there by Moonbridge. And the trailer is Queen of All. That's the two to one favorite, gonna have to come from last. And she's about 12 off the pace. Blank space, the one laying down that pace, gets to the half in 56 and 1, 29 and 2 second panel. So George Knapp was able to normalize the speed a bit. Blank space on top, still in the pocket there, striking Jensen. Here comes a three wide, practical cat, and striking Jensen pulls the pocket. So a three way battle now at five ace. In behind that, Red Redemption. Also on the outside on the move there is Moonbridge, followed there by Julian Hector. Up uh, the inside, Queen of All is still seventh, as right now Dagon Hanover fading. Tied up front now between striking Jensen and Practical Cat. Three quarters, 125 and 1, 29 even third panel. Practical Cat on the outside, striking Jensen on the inside, no separation at all. Red Redemption trying to gain, and out the wide is a Moonbridge. Top of the stretch, striking Jensen, just a slight advantage here on Practical Cat. And now striking Jensen extends the lead out to three parts of a length. Practical Cat second, but no longer gaining. And striking Jensen with Jim Panigliano made the move on the back and holds tight late to win it by three parts of a length. Second was Practical Cat. You've got a three-way photo for third between Julian Hector, Moonbridge, and Queen of All striking Jensen at 5-1 to one and 155-2. and two. Oh, Jim Panigliano continuing to make all the right moves today. Pulled the pocket on the back stretch to take the lead. Had Practical Cat coming right up alongside him, looking him in the eye. But a striking Jensen out trotted him from there and comes home a winner here. Judges have posted the unofficial order of finish for race number six. Number three, Striking Jensen finished first. Number five, Practical Cat finished second. Number eight, Queen of All finished third. Number four, Moonbridge finished fourth. Unofficially, 3584 in race six. Heading back towards the Hanover Shoe Farms winner's circle. Unofficial winner of today's sixth race, number three, Striking Jensen. Four year old Bay Stallion by Anna. Away we go out of Genuinely Good by Striking Sabra. Bred by Rose Run Farm of Ohio, owned by Robert Stasio, Staten Island, New York, DeVita Racing, Stable Inc., Middletown, New York. Nick DeVita, the trainer, Jim Paneliano, his fourth win of the day. And striking Jensen at 5-1 to one on the board here this afternoon. Coming off a second last time in this class. His third win in 16 this year. His eighth lifetime. The mile today, 155-2. and two. That is a new lifetime mark on the off-going for number three, striking Jensen.